Yo. So this is a response video to my situations video. And in that video, I explained that a parent passes away and the property that the parent owned was handed down to the child. And the child kicks out the step parent who's left behind and sells the property. So just in case you haven't seen that video, here's a quick recap. In this situation, an elderly woman passed away and in her time, she only gave birth to one child. This child at the time was about 35, 40 years old. So she's a grown ass woman. She had her own property, no children, no responsibilities. She was just living the high life kind of thing. As I said, she had her own property and her mum left the property behind. But there was only one problem. Her mum's lifelong partner was living in the property. Now he had no rights to this property. He just lived there. So I can imagine what's going through her head. She's probably sitting there thinking, I've got my property and there's a property over there that I'm entitled to. Now, I'm allowing someone to live in this property for free when I could take this property and go and sell it. Take a guess what she done next. Take a guess what she was thinking. So same thing as the first situation video. At the end of that video, I gave the viewers the opportunity to write down what they think they would do in that situation or what they think of that situation. And I actually gave a shout out to my two favorite subscribers to actually try and guess what I would do in that situation or at least what I think of that situation. So here's my response. I mean, you know, when I first heard this story, I just thought to myself, how could she? Doesn't she have any heart at all? You know, this man has been in her life from day one, from when she was a little tiny nipper. He helped raise her. He provided for her and her mother. And as soon as a tiny bit of money came into the equation, she turned into a witch. She kicked him out onto the streets with no remorse, left him to fend for himself. Who knows whether or not he lived on the streets. He may have gone to the Salvation Army, but it's not the point. You know, she is actually a monstrous woman. And I don't like to say anyone's names on these videos. I don't like to expose anyone on these videos. But I think I'm going to have to say the person's name. Her name was... Ursula. No, no, no. Cruella de Vil. <sighs> such a, such a sad, sad, sad story. But, um... Serves him right. I have no remorse of that guy whatsoever. Too many men out here. They don't have their stuff together. So what they do is they think to themselves, all right, let me find a thing and just move in with it. Yeah, because it's either that or I sleep at my mum's house and I need to get away from my mum. So what they do is they meet a girl, they start getting nice and close with them and then they start moving in on the D-Lo, nesting. So what they do is they leave one, two trainers behind. Oh, can you wash my clothes? Next thing you know, the woman's got a wardrobe full of all of these jackets. Listen, there's some women out here, right? They've got men living with them 10 years, 20 years, that woman's still waiting for that guy to ask permission to move in because he just moved himself in. You see that guy there? He's a big man and he's an even bigger fool. You know why? Too many men, they start getting comfortable. Yeah, they start putting their feet up. Oh, yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You know, nothing's, nothing, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, man, I got this yard here. I got, you know, I'm living with this woman. I'm cool for a while, isn't it? Yeah. How can you be in a position where some you? Some you that you used to look after can turn your life upside down. You're a fool if that happens. In a situation like that, yeah? I don't really advise any man moving in with a woman. But if you do, get your own stuff on the side. If you want to spend time with a woman you want to live in her house, then that's up to you. But you need to have your own stuff on the side. You need to have your own flat or some kind of base on, on the side. You can't live in with a woman. Because if shit hits the fan, where are you going to go? If that woman kicks you out of the house, where are you going to go? So imagine you've come from your mum's house and you go and live with a woman. If that woman kicks you out, where are you going to go? You're going to go back to your mum's house or go stay with your sister or go stay with your auntie or your uncle or your grandma. What kind of force is that? You don't go back. You only, you don't, you don't revert. You, you keep going forwards. You, know? you have to make progression, not regression. And there's certain men out here, they're under the thumb now, you know. Because what will happen is they will do something wrong, whatever. Woman start getting disrespectful, whatever, innit? And then she will try and kick the guy out. She'll say, go, 
Go about your business. Take your things. And you'll be like, oh, you'll think about it. Well, where am I going to go? Oh, I'm going to have to go to my mum's house or go to my sister's house or go here, go there, whatever. I'm going to look like a fool. So what happens is he will surrender. He'll put up the white flag and say, all right, I won't go. And she will say, okay, so you're not going. You're going to stay. Well, you're going to do what I tell you, little boy. And a lot of men, listen, you're watching this right now, yeah? You know a lot of big men around, yeah? There's a lot of men that are under the thumb that you don't know about. Trust me. Now, the woman might not be bullying them in front of you, but trust me, there's a lot of men out here. The woman has them under the thumb. Even in certain situations, yeah? You know, there's certain men out here, right? They go to work and their women have them under smash and lock and key so hard that the men will go to work and the wages that he earns doesn't even get paid into his own bank account. It gets paid into the woman's bank account and she will give him pocket money. That's modern day slavery. That's basically human trafficking. You're sending a man out there to go and work as a slave and bring back the cash. But I have no sympathy, no remorse for any type of man like that. And before the Alzheimer's police come or the dementia police, oh, he might have had Alzheimer's or dementia. That's why. Listen, the man had like, 30 40 years to get his stuff together so if he's in a position where some some little girl who's like five years old can grow up and you know get her stuff together and be in a position where she inherits house and kick him out onto the street that's her problem and i made a video about fake stepfathers and single moms and all that kind of stuff yeah and i was saying that a lot of men they don't care about the youths they don't care about the children they're only interested in that woman yeah the children are just the extras the baggage they don't care about that child. Yeah, they just they see it as somewhere to stay. And in that situation, that could have possibly have been the case. So I have no remorse of them types of men there. No, none whatsoever. There's too many men out here. They pretend to be fake. They pretend to be stepfathers. They're not real stepfathers. They're fake stepfathers. They just want a place to live. I guarantee. Uh, do you know why I tell you that they're fake? Because I guarantee you, if the woman had something wrong with her and she could never sleep with that man again, that guy would be off he wouldn't even remember that child's name all that child would know that guy is oh that guy used to take care of me but mommy said that she can't sleep with him no more whatever for some particular reason so he cut it off no remorse for them man there listen your man right now watching this yeah start getting your stuff together before you're put in a position where the woman's kicking you out because you're not going to be some some fool who is going to be controlled by a woman so you're going to have to leave the house right so don't ever put yourself in a position where you need to depend on a woman to house you. The only woman you should ever live with in this world is your mama. Me, I live with my mum right now, but I've got things on the side, you know, I can go and move out if I want or whatever, innit, yeah? So there's no way, right, I'm going to be in a position where a woman can say to me, oh, yeah, you know, get out of my house. And then I'm going, no, 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 I would not do it. No, absolutely no way. No, I don't, I'll go and stay with a girl. If I had a girlfriend, like probably full-time girlfriend, I'll go and stay with her. That's cool. But I'm not going to start changing my address to her property. No, no way. Because again, you're going to put yourself in a position where you're going to get kicked out or whatever. And then what, what do you do? You're going to go and sleep on your mum's sofa? Nah, fam. No, 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 no. Drop that out. Drop that out. A lot of men, they do this 50-50 thing. So they go hard with a woman. They might be married to this woman and or have children with them yeah so they both buy a property together and they'll muck in that way now personally i'm not doing that because i'm the man the woman has to come and live with me so if crunch comes crunch i'm doing the kicking out now i know some of you are going to watch this and say oh you're just being controlling and you just want to do the kicking out and you don't want to be in a position where you can be kicked out by the woman you goddamn right what to end up like my man no the way i see it men we are the kings we find queens and they come and live with us. I could never imagine back in the day, Genghis Khan going to stay at Pocahontas' house. It don't make no sense, yeah? He was the king and women used to go and live with him or whatever, however it, ha it happened, yeah? But he was the king. Kings do not go and live with queens. Queens go and live with kings. End of story. There's this guy behind me. I don't even know what he's doing. I think he's picking up some apples or something like that. Let's ask him what he's doing. So what are they? Are they apples or something? No apples. I don't know, yellow. It's nice. You try before this. No, 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 I'm not trying none. It's alright, man. It's nice. Yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> so, in a situation like that, it depends on my relationship with the step parent. Yeah? 
if I didn't get along with them, then obviously they're out. So, but if I did generally get along with them and I felt like they, you know, done what they can for me, then I would leave them in the house because at the end of the day, my success doesn't depend on inheriting a property from a parent. But at the same time, I still feel no remorse for that woman kicking out that guy because he should have put himself in a position where it don't matter if she kicks him out. He has somewhere to go. You know, he has three, four properties or whatever, you know, at least one. So in a situation like that, I personally would just, you know, weigh out whether or not I had I was on good terms with that um, step parent. If I was on good terms with the step parent, then he could remain or whatever. But obviously, if we weren't cool, then he's gone. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.